let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Five years ago, there was an interreligious gathering at the 9-11 Memorial in New York City. Many faith leaders were there, including Pope Francis and a children's choir composed of young people uh, from around the world of many backgrounds and many faith traditions came together and sang the song, Let There Be Peace on Earth. Good evening. It's Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. I'm Joe, pastor at First Presbyterian Church here in Smithville, North Carolina, here in Johnson County. Welcome as we gather for this evening's reflection. This week, we light the second candle of the Advent wreath. It is observed in American churches often as the candle of peace. Uh, thankfully, I was able to light my candle this week when I located some matches. The passage I selected for us to reflect upon in this evening's uh, gathering is from Paul's letter, second letter to the church in Corinth in chapter 13, verse 11. Become complete, be of comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As this is the second week, uh, second Sunday in Advent, um, we think about peace. We reflect on what that means. And just as words have meaning, words also have power. And sometimes something is lost in translation, though. We use the word peace in English um, often as if we know what it means, even though it seems to be so elusive at times, not only in the world, but within our communities, even sometimes our workplaces and our homes. In Hebrew, the original word shalom is offered off as a greeting and farewell, translates as peace. In Greek, the word irene, or we might know it better in English as the proper name Irene, uh, means simply the absence of conflict, but that doesn't quite capture the whole meaning of what the Jewish community understood peace to be. Scottish theologian and writer William Barclay, used by many Sunday school teachers, tells us that in Hebrew, this word shalom, peace, is never only about a negative state, as if it's just simply the absence of trouble and conflict. Peace always, shalom, means everything which makes for a person's highest good. In the East, when somebody speaks in Arabic and says salam, uh, related to the Hebrew language and the word shalom, it is intended that they wish the other person not just the absence of evil things, but that they wish for them the presence of all good things. In the Bible, peace means not only freedom from trouble, it means enjoyment of all good things. But in Hebrew too, where peace might be defined in terms of material prosperity or physical safety, these are important things for us. Greek, the New Testament, the New Covenant, carries that sense of peace a little bit further for us. In Paul's letter here in the second letter to the Corinthians, the expression is made that true heartfelt peace is not merely the absence or restraint from conflict and anger and those things that break down our relationships, but it is a spiritual sense of positive, proactive, heartfelt peace, of yielding to God, of surrendering all things to God, and in turn being able to yield goodwill to all our neighbors. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, American poet, uh, in 1863, composed a beautiful hymn uh, uh, poem that we remember, and it was at Christmas time. It was in the heart of the Civil War. His wife had tragically been killed in a fire a couple of years before, and he was still grieving and mourning her loss. His son had gone off to war without his leave, and the South and the North were engaged in a very bloody conflict. And Longfellow wrote these words, I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. 
and in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. And then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, goodwill to men. With God the wrong shall fail, the right prevail, from the mouths of poets and prophets, from the mouths of apostles and angels, peace on earth and goodwill to all everywhere. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with us. May the Holy Spirit bring us comfort tonight, the light of Christ illumine us, and in that light, may the love of Christ abide within each of us. And above all, may the peace of God be with you until we meet again. Good night.